into the race. David had the first stint, uh, drove really well. There were a couple red flags, a uh, few cars crashed out. There's maybe uh, 10 minutes he was back in the pits with the red flag, but he got back out. Eric's in the car, uh, he's doing well. In about an hour from now will be my stint. It's gonna keep it on the track, stay consistent, that's all. That's all what endurance racing, that's what endurance racing is about. Just chasing that rabbit, consistent lap times. Right now we're in P4, so hopefully over time we might, you know, someone might have an issue. We might make up a place and hopefully get on the podium. That would be awesome. Yeah, still five hours of racing, lots of racing left to do, so anything can happen. As long as it's good stuff to us and bad stuff to other people. There's our car.
the top of turn two. There's about an hour and a half of the race left. Uh, Daniel got in. He's going blisteringly quick, uh, probably two seconds a lap faster than I was, and I thought I was going quick. Um, he, when he pitted, we noticed uh, the front left tire pressure was down like 10 PSI. Um, so we changed it, um, maybe a two minute extra longer pit stop. Um, so about a seven minute pit stop uh, for fuel and just to change the, the one tire. The cords on the inside of the wall just went through the tire wall for no apparent reason. It was a brand new tire, but um, luckily we caught it and we changed the tire and he's getting back out there. He's back out there now, lost minimal time, so that was making definitely the best of a worst case scenario. Um, was... Yeah, he's out now, an hour and a half left. We're in P3 still, I think. Hoping for a podium, hoping for a podium. We'll see, we'll see, hopefully. So, no, we didn't finish Sunday's race on the podium. Um, dreadfully not. Uh, but it wasn't anything to do with the car or driving or anything of that nature. Uh, it had to do with the RFID, the timing system that they use to keep track of all the cars and everyone's lap time. It, uh, it glitched out towards the end um, for, for us, throwing us from uh, a podium spot in GT3 clad category to a pretty bullshit sixth place in GT2, if I'm being honest. And um, that's what we felt real time. Like, this is garbage. What's going on? We were confused. Why was this happening? What's going on? You know, we were just flabbergasted. Um, and there was nothing we could do about it at the time. Um, so we ended the race on Sunday in sixth place. However, uh, Monday, the Rodriguez's protested it um, on the basis it made no sense. And uh, the following day, we got the official race results back and I'm very, very happy to uh, announce, if you haven't heard already, we got second place. So that's awesome. Podium finish, that's, that's huge. Uh, now I could say, you know, podium finish car. Um, we didn't get to celebrate on the podium on the Sunday. However, we'll, we'll take a second place, however it comes. So that's great. Um, congrats to everyone involved. It was well-deserved based off of the driving, um, the really almost flawless driving, kept the car on the track for 16 hours straight, not straight, but 16 hours of racing. Um, clean driver changes, uh, overcame the few hurdles the car gave us, which were quite minor and compared to um, their last race having to change an engine in a day. So great race, great result, uh, super happy to be involved with real, real estate racing. Um, Daniel, Dave and Carlos are a true motorsports family. Um, it's in their blood and you can tell they're a, a professional, um, professional team. And I was happy to be involved with it and uh, happy to continue uh, racing with them in the future. So that's likely going to be the plan going forward to uh, the season finale at Shannonville Motorsports Park. Uh, feel free to come out. There's uh, Spectators are, are free and we, we always enjoy the support. So come on out to Shannonville end of September. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Give the video uh, a like or a subscribe if you so choose. If you don't, uh, I don't care. It's up to you. I'm just making these videos for myself. They're, they're pretty fun. So uh, yeah, see you later. Thank you for watching.